What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And now they have primetime players in Madden 19 Ultimate Team. And the number one guy that everybody's going to be probably going after is Richard Sherman. Now, if you get Kareem Hunt, who I believe is the other one, you might not be too impressed with them because there's so many other running backs, and namely Saquon Barkley, who was a rookie premier who I got free, obviously because I completed the, um, the set in Madden 18. So my card is going to automatically continue to upgrade. If you completed the set inside Madden 19, your player will remain in 88 regardless of what he elevates to become. So if you guys want more information about that, you guys can easily go over to uh, the playlist for Madden 18 where all that information is readily available for you and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. But if you did not complete the set in Madden 18 for a rookie premiere and you did this set over here, which is under the exchange uh, for the core rookie, if you do this set, you're only going to get the card right now and he's going to remain in 88. Only the people that completed the set in 18, Madden 18 for the rookie premier, is going to continue to have this man upgrade as we know he will for the New York Giants. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about Richard Sherman because I'm already getting asked, is he going to be worth whatever his value is going to be? So I checked him a little bit before. Um, it was one card that was available on the auction house, so it should have it still up there. Um, as we scroll down to the bottom, he should still be there. We could take a look at um, his numbers and his details, all right? So here we go right now. So Richard Sherman, the primetime performer, okay? Some guy who's a complete psycho has him up for 2 million coins because he probably thinks that somebody's going to actually do this. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to compare Richard Sherman, the primetime performer, okay? We're going to compare him to some of the corners that I have right now currently on my team to kind of give you guys a gist and an understanding of why I try to make you guys evaluate talent, okay? Now, that's my 87 free Jair Alexander card from the gauntlet, okay? Let's take a look at the differential that Richard Sherman has. Now, obviously, the biggest thing that you're going to notice is the height differential. That's what pretty much made Richard Sherman Richard Sherman. Um, you know, he's a relatively, you know, low draft pick, whatever, came to the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, people didn't really, you know, get wild by his speed initially, whatever. But he was long and he was able to stay with his men, okay? He had the strength and the ability to be able to be there to be considered a lockdown corner. And I also believe he's going to add a lot to the 49ers this upcoming season. So already, let's go ahead step by step, full detail, right? This Madden right now, height matters, okay? So is this guy essential at 6'3"? Yes, okay? Is he worth 2 million coins? No, all right? So don't, let's, let's try to understand and break it down because I'm trying to show you guys the difference between the 87 and the 91. Now, obviously, he could be uh, chemmed up to a 92, but let's go ahead and just figure it out. He probably could get to a 93 with the Seahawks, Seattle's, um, Seattle, Seattle Seahawks, chem as well but listen up though right let's just figure this out he's an 85 speed okay he might i think he goes to an 86 with the chem right when when you uh well not with the chem with the upgrade all right so he'll get to an 86 speed being 63 what do i think about that with the shorter guy at 511 and you have the two point speed differential now he can make up for that fully chemed okay he can absolutely make up for it fully chemed in this game there really isn't a threshold, but what happens is the closer you get to 99 in anything, the better your players play. And it's very, very visible on the field. So if you haven't seen that yet, you haven't been playing online. If you play solos relatively um, you know, regular and you're trying to go through all your grinds and everything like that, you probably haven't seen what the real deal is all about as far as thresholds. When you play other players online, they play differently. Okay, so the closer they are to 99, like Eric Berry being a, being a higher zone, he plays his zone coverage sideline to sideline very, very different than my lower zone uh, players. Okay, so now let's continue to go down. Acceleration, 86. He's also lacking in that, but that with a power up would increase that. Agility, 93. Let's be honest. That doesn't really mean anything in this game. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as defenders go, like it's not. If you are out of position, you're out of position regardless of the player. The jump. I have yet to see concretely if that matters. Now, this will be very, very important if it does matter because what happens is no matter who my player is, if I'm positioned in a very, very solid state to make a pick and I'm straight, he's going to jump high no matter what. That's what I've seen so far. So I can't realistically tell you that that jump matters. Play rec, that's important, okay? Because I do notice that play recognition for other players, like, you know, this guy right here, A.J. Boye, he pays attention more than Alexander does. But Alexander is just, you know what I'm saying? He's just the poor man's Jalen Ramsey right now for me with the gauntlet, okay? So play rec is important, okay? Man coverage, I don't use it. 
I refuse to use it because there's too many ways to glitch it out. Drag routes, slants, dip, you know, it's crazy. And you can motion the guy and do whatever. It's so many different ways to beat man coverage this year. I just avoid man at all costs. Unless it's necessary for like, you know, I'm sending the house and I need a little bit of press and the guy can hold him at the line for a little bit and I know the blitz is going to get there. But then we also have nano detection. Now, getting the zone coverage. That's what's very impressive to me. Because other than, like I said, my Eric Berry with that very high zone, which I see visibly works, there isn't anybody else that I can compare to it with such a high zone other than my strong safety. Okay? And I can tell you for a fact that Eric Berry goes out there and he's a man among boys. Okay? He's a man among boys. So that zone coverage is going to definitely come in handy. The press, press varies. Because what happens is if you go up against a guy that has decent beat press, it's kind of... It's a little bit better than it was in 18, uh, but they still get to hold you at the line for a little bit, and you still can get bumped five yards down the field. So that hasn't been fixed either. That 90 press could turn out to be something very important, though. Because he's so tall, and if the ball is thrown a little bit after the press release, he can be right there. All in all, he's an excellent card, okay? If you, right now, if you guys, because I know the next question will be, Gmai, how much would you spend for him? Because a lot of you guys are like Mr. Moneybags. Like, you guys are just balling. How much would I spend for Richard Sherman right now? I would probably have to say about 800K. I would really spend 800K on this guy. You know why? Because Jalen Ramsey, I saw people buying him for 780. And this card is actually better than that card, but it's lower rank. Now, let, let me just show you examples of what I'm talking about. We're going to go to Ramsey right now. Because currently, Ramsey is the best corner in the National Football League. We can debate it all day long. Let me know what you think. Um, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait for, you know, the NFL season to start. So you guys can hop over to my NFL uh, podcast channel, which is G Myers World Podcast, right here on YouTube. And you're going to see, I really go in depth with this stuff, man. Um, you guys are going to really enjoy it for those of you that are not signed up. So what happens is this, right? His core elite is 402K. His diamond is a 92. But remember, you can chem him up, right? You can cam him, and you can see somebody already bid 862 on this guy. Do you want to know why somebody bid that? Let's go ahead and take a look at it, right? 88 speed, okay? 92 zone coverage and 93 man. 90 play rec. Those three things matter, okay? Very, very much. They are very important in this game. And like I said, when I'm saying the man coverage, I'm only saying that because in necessity, it's closer to the 99 overall uh, threshold. Not that I use it, but I'm just noticing that anything in 90s, like like 94 press, you see it on the field. So even though there hasn't been like the way it was in Madden 18 with the 91 and all that stuff, which I think is very, very smart on EA's part to just make the cards play better as they get closer to 99. That just simplifies everything. And they probably up the sliders on the individual cards to make it that way. So what happens now is this, right guys? Jalen Ramsey is realistically better than Richard Sherman right now, even though Richard Sherman is just released. So the guy that put Richard Sherman up for $2 million, he, he, has, he has an issue that he needs to go to the doctor and figure out what's going on with him because his brain doesn't work. Because for him to put him up for that doesn't really make any sense. So because we know that the value of these cards, they matter, this is what I would suggest, okay, if you wanted to go after Richard Sherman. Okay, because right now, if you have Richard Sherman and Ramsey, you're pretty much straight lockup. Now, some people have told me you know, that they ended up selling Richard Sherman to get Michael Vick or whatever like that. The, uh, I mean, not Richard Sherman, the uh, Jalen Ramsey diamond to do that. I can understand that because I want to go over that as well. If you want to get Richard Sherman and you sell Ramsey, that's fine because they both are pretty much similar players. But Ramsey is the better player because of the speed threshold and he has better press, all that stuff. But if you're looking to get other cards to continue to build your lineup, you should do something like that. That, that's something that, that's very, very smart because right now, look, this is what happens, right? That card is very, very high priced right now, but Madden is relatively new. As the weeks goes on and they continue to give us new content, people are going to start to pull away from the other cards and you're going to get more snipes. It's going to be more cards available and a lot of different things are going to happen. So what happens is you have to be very, very careful with that and make sure that you understand that, you know, things can happen that can drop the price tremendously. So while he's high, if you have him, you should sell him, okay? Especially if you can manage without having him. If you don't really need these cards, like, look, this, this is what would be a genius thing to do, right? If you could somehow get these cards, right? If you could somehow get some of these cards and you get to the point where you only need Jalen Ramsey, who we just saw was going for like 400K, right? If you can get to that point, 
it's worth it for you to get rid of him if you made it like a 400, 500K profit. Would you sell him and get Richard Sherman? Like I just said, that's logical. Should you keep him if you already have him? He's the best corner right now. So it's very, very difficult when you guys ask me those questions. Yo, should I get this guy? Should Listen, the market's going to change over and over again. And you have to evaluate your talent. He's going for, somebody bid on this dude for almost a million coins. Do you really want a card right now that's worth a million coins that you know is going to go down? Like within the next couple of weeks as they continue to, because we don't know what type of content they're going to be releasing. If you snipe this guy or you completed the set for cheap, keep him. Because no matter what, when you sell him, you're going to make a profit. But if you bought him for, uh, you know, whatever, like 700 and you can make 100 now, he's not going to remain that high for very, very long while Richard Sherman is out there. Because some people are going to take a chance on Richard Sherman, power him up, and just he's going to go out there and ball because more than ever, these attributes matter. So what I would suggest is a lot of you guys go through this right here, right? Or even start to do a little bit of these things like this. You go through on the top right here. And you get two silver tokens and one gold token, and you start doing fantasy packs and taking your chances on trying to, trying to get some Jalen Ramsey cards or whatever, anything that goes into a set by picking the fantasy cards for, you know, the, um, you know, the Jaguars. And you try to build it up like that. But I don't want you guys to go crazy trying to get these cards when you're still actively grinding your solos and doing other things because you're going to be able to get a lot of those cards that go into that diamond set for Jalen Ramsey just by grinding solos. Very, very simple. And in addition, they have released the Game Changer Packs, uh, which will be available for a while. So you guys can go ahead and check those out and see if it's worth it for you to go ahead and get a Richard Sherman. But in my opinion, I think his card is very, very good. But I prefer Ramsey over him, the Diamond Ramsey over him right now. But I just gave you the different scenarios about selling him to get Sherman and making some coins. Because I do think you can manage with having Richard Sherman and making a profit. OK, once that once somebody else pulls that card, once that you know, what I'm saying, because the guy that pulled it, he's going to put it up there to just see if anybody bites. Don't bite on it just because you have the coins. Be smart about it. It's no way possible. He's going to be worth more than Jalen Ramsey. And Jalen Ramsey currently is going for 862, with, you know, by bid. So we're going to check it again and see if anybody else has pulled him yet. I don't expect a lot of pulls for Sherman because, you know, just that's just how EA rolls. I don't really see that happening. But, okay, so somebody's going for 1.92. So both of these guys are now idiots. So it's two of them that have been pulled, okay? The last thing that I want to touch on, should you pull the Game Changer Packs? If you are able to do it and you can put food on your table at night and it's something that's not going to affect you, go for it, okay? In past years, I would not have recommended you guys buying packs. This year, because the players matter a little bit more, I would say go ahead, go for it, okay? But I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes you're going to get some really, really bad things happening, okay? And you're going to have to go and you're going to have to nickel and dime your item binder and try to figure out how to make, uh, you know, make some other uh, things with it, how to do training points, how to do sets to make your coins back, okay? And I'm going to be putting out more videos about that in the future, all right? So if you can go here, if you can, and like I said, everybody can do it. But if you can do it, you can try your luck and see what happens, all right? Nothing is guaranteed. I promise you that. And you will be leaving with EA all over your body when you're done, in most cases. But it's probably worth it now to try to see what you get while it's early. Because if you pull that card, you're going to make at least a million coins. Realistically, that card is going to sell for 900 a million to start, that Richard Sherman. Then it's going to go below Jalen Ramsey, obviously, because Jalen Ramsey is better. So if you needed to pull packs now, I think it would be smart to do it as soon as possible. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Until next time. One love.